Well, you know what they say in real estate, location, location, location. And it doesn't get any better than this, a prime piece of land right on the strip that is now for sale. Your Convention and Visitors Authority owns it, and new at 6 is where we find our Jeff Gillen. That's right. Good evening, everybody from the Strip. That land behind me is going to bring the LVCVA one pretty penny. The LVCVA has owned this 10 acres of land since 2015, when it bought the Riviera, tore it down, and is now building a huge convention center expansion. So what's the price? I asked the guy at the top, LVCVA CEO Steve Hill. Well, we have an idea, but we really don't want to uh, negotiate uh, the land sale price in, uh, on, on TV with you. Please, by all means. I'll talk money in a moment, but first, this sale became possible last summer when the LVCVA was able to buy this land off Convention Center, which allowed it to shift the construction of its new campus. That freed up the land on the Strip. We would use it at least initially uh, for parking and outdoor exhibition space and that's certainly not its highest and best use. Not when the land next door is being sold for 30 million an acre and when 38 acres down the street went for 336 million in 2017. So the LVCVA realized it was sitting on some serious money. At its board meeting Tuesday, the LVCVA chose the real estate firm CBRE to sell the land. John Knotts, the broker. I think there's going to be international uh, interest in this property and it will attract a very fair price. When it gets its payday, Hill tells me some of the proceeds may pay off the land they bought this past summer. And they may use some of the money to fund the underground people mover planned for the convention center campus. In the meantime, Hill says his phone is already ringing. So we have had um, a, a few folks, um, several of them very credible, um, reach out and say they'd have an interest. How could they not? With an expanded convention center behind them and resorts going up around them, it could become one of the coolest corners in America. And back no life here on the Strip. So what will make sense for this property? Well, John Knott tells me probably something mixed use. Expect to see retail, residential, a hotel component. He doesn't think that whatever gets built here will have much of a gaming element to it. But we'll see. And as you heard in the piece, their phones are already ringing. Live on the Strip, Jeff Gillen, News 3, Jim Back.